Good, Ed. Hey. Thanks. How are you? Yeah. How are you doing? Good, good. And good to see you again, Fran. We spoke uh, recently yeah. uh, about Mass, so it's nice yeah. to have a chance to, to see you, man. Yeah. that again now. Although I must say, watching on this show, I'm not sure I like you quite as much uh, anymore. <laughs> That's good. That's a good thing, right? That's a good thing, yeah. <laughs> Well, I will say, I think that the three of you play the behind the scenes people most responsible for a lot of getting this this show off the ground, the show within a show. And I'm curious, what were your relationships like with Julia Child and just knowing about her uh, long before this show? Well, I didn't know much about her at all, except for the Meryl Streep film. So it's it's been a whole new learning process for me and a, and a, and a wonderful one to learn about this incredible woman who achieved so much, particularly at a time when a lot of women are told that they can't and, you know, you hit the menopause and you're supposed to just kick back and put your feet up or, you know, just go and do something else. And actually she, she forged forward and she created an extraordinary new genre of television and wrote these cookbooks and, and we're so grateful to her. Yeah, I feel like I only really knew the parodies of her after the fact, um, but I didn't know that much about who she was and and what a trailblazer she she was. So that was uh, an incredible learning experience. Yeah, absolutely. I, I took most of it for granted and, and knew who she was, but to to go go back in time, so to speak, and sort of walk, you know, follow her footsteps is in, just incredibly impressive and inspiring. And the world in which she did it, and sort of a new medium, relatively new medium. Um, and to pursue it and be persistent for almost 30 years about, you know, and to kind of redefine the show and just keep at it. That work ethic is just extraordinary. So that that all really, you know, now I, I think of her so differently with so much admiration beyond just the food, you know, who the woman was. Yeah. And you all get to share a lot of screen time uh, with Sarah. What is it like working with her? And what can you say about her as an actress? She's a stunning actress. She is just incredible. I mean, all, I've always been a huge fan of hers. So I was so excited, but she is such a hard worker and is, but yet is so effortless on set, is so brilliant and is great to be in a scene with and is so believable and so emotional. And then you finish the scene and, you're, and she's back to Sarah again. It's, it was a real joy. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of like blurred lines because, you know, she was our, our, our fearless leader as Sarah, but also so was Julia, you, you know, <laughs> on the French chef. So it was it was I feel like her spirit just shone through so much in Julia. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's incredible. Again, it, it, that idea of taking something for granted. I, I know I don't know how it's appreciated necessarily with audiences because I certainly forget myself. She, she's capturing Julia, right? She's capturing this big, larger than life personality, but she's playing this human being too. And and to be able to catch, to be able to get both essences um, and, and and to work in harmony that way in a performance is, it feels kind of impossible. I mean, that's sort of a whole challenge of acting is sort of not being too big or sort of not, you know, too small and sort of where do you find that balancing act and, and how she does it on this show is, is incredible. So I, I, I imagine, uh, you know, I imagine a lot of good things coming her way, but she, uh, you know, she also is a really good cook and, and she's doing that. She's doing it on the show. And I had one scene at the end of the season where I'm, I'm cooking myself and multitasking on camera is hard, let alone cooking. I, I mean, it's really, it's real. So to, to get to the end of the show and already have such admiration and respect for Sarah and her work ethic and her talent, and then to kind of have to do that myself one day and realize, oh my God, she was doing that the entire summer. That's crazy. That's the, you know, I was no. so stressed out. <laughs> so yeah, she's incredible. No. And she worked like she was constantly, constantly working. Sarah yeah, just yeah. had the script out all the time like in the car going from the car to the makeup truck in the makeup trailer constantly you know i mean we were we 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 all had a great summer and we, we were going for dinners and a lot of the time she couldn't come because she had yeah. too much work to do but yeah. she was extraordinary and then when she was there like fran said that just hugely incredibly real and this character as well how they amalgamate it's just stunning yeah yeah, well, I'm glad also that you brought up food. I'm curious, in your own lives, do you cook a lot and do you feel like you've learned from the show, from watching Sarah? Um, oh, 
God, I wish I could be as good a cook as Sarah. She's really <laughs> stunning. Um, we were talking about this earlier. I, I did try some of her recipes, not very successfully. I'm just starting at the beginning with omelets, like um, Brittany's character. And I've rediscovered my love of, of butter in a hot pan, throw a few eggs in. I mean, you can't really go wrong, you know. Well, you can, so that's why I'm working at it. But um, I've been doing a lot of that recently. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We were we we only filmed. Uh, so that, that's a lie. We we got all together for maybe two days before we got shut down, and then came back later. So I was home for a, a lot of the pandemic for the first few months, and so I did take that as an opportunity to cook, um, which was great. And I only try I I tried the bouf bourguignon, and it was it was a fail. But um, <laughs> there's there's always time to, to learn new tricks. <laughs> So is mine, Brit. So is yeah, mine. yeah. Maybe we could do it together. You know, when we have our. That's right. Maybe it just needs four hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. two That's Julia really Child hands, two but four like regular four people hands. hands. Yeah, yeah. I like how yeah. she just always had, you know, a bottle of sherry or wine or cognac. Yeah. There's just always something yeah. she pours it in a pot like that. That's the one technique I've really taken. <laughs> Um, for the whole thing in. <laughs> maybe that's where we're going wrong maybe we just yeah. need to open a sherry no right? the sherry it just put yeah on anything no no yeah i'm i'll get to the recipes eventually right now i'm just stocking up on the uh the cooking alcohol, the alcohol. yeah the, the cooking alcohol <laughs> yeah. well, another big part of this show is its period setting did you enjoy the opportunity to have you know different hairstyles and costumes and how much was that a part of this show Oh man, we, we named my wig um, <laughs> <laughs> because she, she was her own woman, you know? Uh, and that's the best part as an actor. It's like you give someone the costumes and the wig and it's like, oh, okay, you just do the work for me. It's great. I love it. And the, the costumes and John Dunn and Jerry DeCarlo oh. with the hair, they're just magicians. They, they did 90% of the work probably. It was stunning, wasn't it? Every time we went for a costume fitting, it was so much fun. It was so much fun and everything was gorgeous. And John is such a collaborator. He was really interested in how you felt about the character and what this, you know, how you felt in the clothes. And he was, he really listened to any sort of, he really listened, which is really wonderful. So not only was he coming to you with all this amazing things, but you were working together. And when you see that, palette on screen it's really stunning there was you know the few days the few days when we were all together which is obviously incredibly exciting because we all get to hang out with our friends and and play and you just see everybody and it's just how it complements each other and, and in the in the kitchen in, in, the, in the studio in the streets with the cars oh, it's just it's beautiful oh, beautiful yeah. Yeah. the cars those are amazing those, those are cars cool. <laughs> they were they had no central they this. had no central heating what am i saying yeah, very no hot air yeah whoa they were hot weren't they yeah but they oh, were yeah. amazing yeah. well, sounds like quite an experience thank you uh all for speaking with me about it today the okay. first three episodes of julia premiere on hbo max on thursday march 31st for more great content subscribe to the cinema daily us youtube channel it was great to speak with all of you today thank you so you much too. nice to meet you uh, yeah, thanks Take Abe. Care. Bye -bye.